everyone and welcome to my creations uh, I haven't done a video in a long time so I decided to do one since yesterday I received the first the very first Tampin Up photopolymer stamps so I haven't even opened them yet I don't know if you can see them so I just decided to try them out and um, record this video in the process so let's see, here I have the old stamping uh, up classic ink pads that are felt and the new ones that are firm foam. So I will be trying with both of them and I have some acrylic uh, clear uh, blocks. So I have uh, wild wasabi, the firm foam, and wild wasabi, the classic uh, ink with felt the felt pad so let's see here there is the backing we'll close that out and here is our stamps just peel this sheet off and they're sticking pretty well to the backing sheet so um I'll take out the banner stamp so, and I'll work, try first that one. So, I'll just put it on my acrylic block and it's pretty firm there. So first I'll try with the wild wasabi, the felt, the old style pads and see what happens. So, we have that one. I ink this one pretty good. And it seems to uh, the ink to stick to the stamp, and then I just stamp. And it looks perfect. Let me see if I can bring this closer. I don't think if you can see, but I'll post pictures, close-up pictures as well. And I have here my uh, stamping scrub. I'll clean my stamp. sides so then I'll take the firm foam pad and I will stamp right above that one so the ink colors look different but that's not the problem of the stamp so but the the both images uh, they look perfectly fine and they stamp pretty crisp so let's see other images what I did and as well I have different colors here so I'll do different images with different colors and then I'll post the pictures close up so you can uh, see better so I have Marina Mist, Early Espresso and Calypso Coral so let's I'll, let's try this uh, alphabet and just spell something. I decided to do fun. Um, if I can find the N. Okay. There are my three letters. Then I need to clean this one. And so, and the stamp uh, clean pretty good. I don't see any staining. So I'll just remove. This time, put it back on the uh, backing sheet, and then I'll make sure this is dry, and I'll try to do fun. But when you're doing quartz, it's better if you have using the grid uh, on the acrylic block, so you can line up the letters straight so I'll we'll use this this is larger um, block but it doesn't really matter so I'll do a few 
and an N. I hope I did those right. Okay, the U is a little bit down. Now it's too much up. Okay, I think this is good. Let's see first. Let's tamp the side here. So this looks fine. And then I just need to turn this one a little bit towards me. So I can center it. And I can see where I'm stamping. And it's perfectly centered in the middle of the banner and I'll do the one above it too. I apologize if you see my head here. I hope you do not. Okay. So this is pretty fun. Um, let's see if you can see it here. There you go. They're probably upside down the way you're seeing those. Let me see if I can turn them. So there's the fun and let's see try let's try different colors and let's do some other more kind of solid images so I'll still use the fun and I'll stamp so I don't spell other words it's kind of it will be a little challenging if you need to spell some uh, words that have uh, double same letters that repeat So I did that fun, and then I'll do this, this little banner ends, and I'll use the Marina Mist. So this goes on the left side, so I'll line it up here, and they're, it's very easy, you don't even need stamp a magic or anything to line them up and see where you're stamping. There is one, and I'll clean this one later. Oops. And on the other side. There's an the other side. So we have that one. And what else? There's the error. I just wanted to try something with the error and see if we can extend this error. So I've, I'm stamping it. So it stamps perfectly with uh, early espresso. Let's try it one more time. And then I'll take um, post-it notes or any other uh, not permanent adhesive. I need to find my post-it notes, so I apologize for that. Wait. Uh. Actually, I find I have uh, um, I have some masking sheets here, so I'll be using those. And I'll just cut a piece with my big scissors because I don't know where my favorite snips are. So I have my stamp here and first I'll put this, I'll peel the backing off my masking sheet. So I want the arrow to point to the left this time. Those are pointing to the right. So I'll line this one up here and just I'll stamp pretty much the whole thing just leave the tail off so there we have and now I can remove the masking sheet and you will see and this works perfectly with uh, post-it notes or sticky notes which I don't know where mine are so I'll leave this one to dry a little bit because the um, early espresso ink, not the early, any ink on Whisper White cardstock tends to have a little bit longer drying time so we don't smear it. Then I'll turn this one over. Hopefully this is dry, not yet. I have still burn lines on my fingers but We'll get over it. So I will uh, put another, I'll turn this sticky note over 
and I can still see a little bit over it. So I'll ink my stamp again and I will line the error to go over the masking sheet so we don't have the error and I'll line the two lines that I can see underneath with the stamp. And there we have longer arrow. So that's another fun thing to do. You can do the same thing with the banner. Uh, let's try that one. And I'll use what I'll use with this one. Let me just quickly clean this one. And it seems the ink to come straight right off the ink, the stamp, so. And then we'll try one more and I won't bore you anymore. So let's do, actually let's do Marina Mist. And I'll use the same um, masking sheet I have. So I'll stamp the runner on the left and then the right is covered and here you can see I don't know if you can see but there's a little bit left over from the arrow that because it didn't dry properly so I'll mask this one just like little tiny bits on the end so they can or you can leave even less so because the overlapping lines are come out to be a little bit darker but that doesn't really matter. They're not that noticeable. So, and then line this up and stamp again. And now we have longer banner. So, those are some, um, I guess, characteristics or features of the new poly. Uh, photopolymer stamps and they stamp wonderfully whether they're with the old style or the new style ink pads so you don't need to worry about that and I'm really looking forward to stamping up releasing even more stamp sets that are photopolymer thanks for watching and see you soon bye